So they call these toiletry skins. To me, uh, these are like toiletry condoms. Hey everyone, it is May, and that means we are just about the beginning of the official travel season, and that means it's time for another Amazon Travel Essentials video. Just remember, everything is linked in the order in which I share them here in the video, down in the description box, and also pinned to the first comment at the top of the comment section to make it easier for you to find. So we're gonna kick this off with something that has gotten a lot of buzz on the internet, and it is the Nori Press Steamer. So it does two things at once. What it doesn't do is straighten your hair. I know that's what it looks like, a giant hair straightener. One side has the steaming capability with the holes here, and there is a water reservoir. And then the other side is a traditional iron, and so you're getting the benefit of ironing and steaming at the same time. It doesn't require an ironing board. You can lay the garment flat to iron hang for steaming. This is great not just for travel, but for anyone who has limited space in their home. Great for apartments, great for dorms, so it would make a great graduation gift as well. I would recommend that you click the link down in the description box to learn a little bit more about it and whether or not it would work for you because this is found on Amazon. It's found in a lot of other retailers as well, and it is not a typical Amazon budget item. This is over $100. Do I think it is worth it? I do, or I wouldn't recommend it, but I just wanted to point that out learn a little bit more about this before you just throw it into your cart. Now, the rest of these are definitely more budget friendly and all random as Amazon is. So I wanna talk about something very polarizing in the travel community, and that is whether you use packing cubes or you don't use packing cubes. I am not generally a packing cube advocate unless I have a multi-stage journey and so I wanna pack per day and just grab what I need. However, I've recently been introduced to the concept of compression packing cubes and they're made by the company that makes my favorite toiletry bag, which we'll talk about towards the end of this video. So these function like regular packing cubes in that they come in different sizes and they open up and as you can see, this, this is really flat, but as I am taking out this outer zipper, now it's wider and then you open it up like a normal packing cube, fill it with whatever it is you feel like filling it, close it up, has a nice mesh top, easy carry handle, and then you zip that outer zipper closed again and it takes a big pile of stuff and makes it much more compact. So I love the idea of the compression cube solely so that you can cram more stuff into your suitcase. I think this is a fabulous, idea. I've also been trying to find a garment bag that works for women. So I have introduced to you a few times the garment bag that rolls up like a duffel bag. And it's fabulous if you're carrying shirts or pants or even skirts, but not so much dresses, which is something I like to wear a lot. And I found this carry-on garment bag and I love it. First of all, I love how Big it is when you open it all the way up, I can get my dresses in there. Yes, I have to fold them up a little bit, but every garment bag, no matter how big you find, does that with dresses. But just how flat it folds, how compact it is, and then all the compartments. Honestly, you could probably get at least a week's worth of stuff in this entire garment bag. It is fantastic. I love the, the strap, the handle, all the outer pockets, the inner pockets. The construction on this is fabulous. I did take this with me recently on a trip to Mississippi. I had a lot of hanging garments for that and there was so much room. I did also bring a suitcase and in hindsight, I don't even think I needed to. And I think this would also make a really good gift for a recent college graduate who might be traveling for work. This is definitely something they're not gonna already have. Now this next one is more for road trips and that's if you need to keep something cold with you. And I have two backpacks, they're made from the same company. Each one is a little bit different. So the first one I picked up, it has a nice big front pocket with another zipper inside, has the open side pockets and then this huge insulated main compartment, very deep. And then also the top compartment is somewhat insulated as well. And this one I was the first one we bought and we love it. We needed a second one and I went with the same company, but I decided to get one that could also function very well as a picnic basket. So the difference in this one is that it has these clips in the front that when you open them, you could roll up a blanket and put it through there and then clip it to the front. And then it has this big open 
kind of sleeve compartment here. Same deal with the cup holders or open pockets, but then it has even more pockets. It has another deep, deep pocket. It goes all the way down to the bottom here. Then this main compartment, again, is humongous and fully insulated. And then another big compartment at the top that is also somewhat insulated. Put a couple ice packs in here. Your stuff does stay cold. I was very impressed. Almost as long as a Yeti, not even close to the price of a Yeti. So definitely think these are great for travel, but also if you're planning any kind of outdoor picnics, nice little item to have. Now this next item caught my eye because again, we often take road trips, which means we stop at various locations throughout the way. And I thought this would be a fun way to sort of break up the trip. So instead of using packing cubes, you pack your items in this little guy and you could do it by days. It has a like almost like a drawer with a zipper at the bottom. You could put you know your undergarments, things like that in there. And then when you get to your destination, it's, it zips shut. You just pull it out, hang it in the closet or whatever, and you have everything organized by day or what have you. Maybe, for instance, in the hotel we stayed at over graduation, it had one drawer in the entire hotel room, one. So this would have come in handy. I didn't pack it this time. But I just think it's a really cool concept. It zips up compactly so your stuff isn't gonna fall out in your suitcase. And then again, it also functions almost like a compression packing cube and then gives you more storage options when you reach your destination. This next one, I will admit, I'm going to be a little bit immature about this. So when I pack my toiletries for years, I would either put them in plastic bags or I would take duct tape and wrap it around. Just anything to keep them leak proof. I'm not a big fan of decanting my toiletries because it never works out right. And then I saw these, I think I saw these somewhere on social media. So they call these toiletry skins. To me, uh, these are like toiletry condoms. So the, these are silicone stretchy sleeves. I'm gonna demonstrate on this uh, leave-in conditioner. So you just put this thing and it opens and it stretches to accommodate a lot of sizes. You just pop it over the top. I mean, anyway. And it forms a nice little seal and if it opens or leaks in transit, it is contained to this area. I can attest it works. I had this over a NARS foundation that did in fact leak, but it didn't leak outside of this little toiletry skin is what they're calling it. So I bought it in a pack of four. They are very effective and genius. This next one is great for anyone who has medicine or vitamins or just wants to corral a bunch of little items. It is a foldable, technically a foldable travel pill organizer. But honestly, you can choose to fill these little compartments with anything that you'd like. And I like that it opens flat and it's clear so you can see all the things. So it has a nice big compartment and, and then this one has, I believe, six smaller compartments. And then it just folds up tiny. I've seen people use these for jewelry, smaller earrings and rings. I've seen them use it for hair ties and bobby pins and so forth, even for little kids, like little toys and little Barbie shoes and all that kind of stuff. It is an amazing little organizer. I love how compact it is. I love all the little compartments and I just wanted to share this one with you. Another find that I never knew I needed until I saw it, and this isn't new, but it's a beauty blender or beauty sponge holder. Usually I just take my damp beauty blender and just throw it into my makeup bag with all of my stuff or throw it in with my brushes. Probably not the best idea. This keeps it from bumping into all the things but still airs it out. It just opens on the slit. You pop your beauty blender in and there you go. You can throw this into your makeup bag and it's ventilated so it's not gonna get moldy and what have you but the damp beauty blender isn't gonna rub up against all your stuff. So I love this little guy, very cute. Now this I do think is kind of genius. It's also cute. This is a reusable gel lint roller and you pop open the case and it has this very sticky ball inside and you just roll it on whatever and it picks up it's fair, as you can see, like it's picking up my clothing. <laughs> it, as you roll it, it'll pick up, and it rolls, it'll pick up all the lint and whatever, and then when it gets covered in goo, you just run it under water in the sink and everything washes off, and you just close it up and use it again. The reason I love this so much, aside from how effective it is, is I've always had those old school lint rollers with the tape, and it takes forever to find the edge and peel it off neatly, and it still isn't quite right, and this is so much easier to use, and it's so much more effective than that annoying paper thing. So love this find. This next one isn't specific to travel, but 
If you're like me and you road trip, you've got cords all over the place in the car, charging your phone, maybe your iPad, what have you. And they're just, they're always getting tangled. And I saw this idea and I thought, why isn't every cord made like this? This is a magnetic charging cable. It's a lightning cable. I believe it comes in other forms as well. And if you can see, it has little magnets all along the length of the cord. So when it's time to store it, you can coil it up on itself and these magnets stick together and then it doesn't get all tangled up. This also is very satisfying to listen to them all click together. It keeps everything neat and tidy. I mean, how cool is that? It's all neat, no tangles, it's more compact. Every charging cable, every cable period, I think, needs to have magnets on it. This is brilliant. Since it appears we have moved into the electronics phase of this discussion, let's talk about some battery chargers. So I have talked a lot about this little guy. I love this. You charge it up like normal, but then the bottom here has a lightning adapter. Oh, you know what? I don't actually have my phone with me. So it plugs into the bottom of your phone. And what's great about it is it's charging your phone, but you can still talk on your phone. You can still watch videos, do whatever you're gonna do with your phone. It doesn't interfere with your ability to use the phone and it's very compact. So easy to keep in a purse, in a pocket, what have you. But then I saw this guy. So same company, this is a MagSafe version. So it pops right onto the back of your phone. That's great. It has a screen telling you exactly how much battery power is left. Also nice. Here's the best part. It functions as a grip on the phone. So if you want to do selfies and what have you, but also it has a kickstand to it. So you can prop your phone up landscape or horizontal, still be charging it and viewing it at the same time. Again, it's nice and compact as well. So whether it's this one or this one, I absolutely love adding this to my collection. I would be remiss if I didn't also share my all time favorite one. It's now it's not as lightweight, but it is so much easier to charge. This one has the charging cables built into it, and there are at least three, maybe four options here. Different sizes, lightning charger, USB-C, et cetera. But to charge it, it has a fold out plug in the back. So you just pop it into a wall. You don't need to find yet another cord to plug this thing in to something to charge it. So very convenient and it's pretty lightweight and very, very strong. Now I recently upgraded my laptop to a 16 inch. So I needed a new travel case and I travel with an external hard drive. I do like to bring an extra mouse and a few other gadgets. So. I found this thing. This is super padded, which is really nice on the inside. It does come in a variety of colors. It has a nice big external pocket for papers or a folder, whatever. But what I also really love is the three padded compartments on the front. So it fits all my things. I felt like my computer was very well protected in this and really nice price as well. Now we get into possibly the most random thing that I'm gonna share with you today. It is very specific, but I think also extremely cool. This is a car seat gap organizer. I bought this because like I said, we road trip and when we do road trip, we rent a car. We don't like to put those kind of miles on our personal vehicles. Plus it's fun to try out different kinds of cars. So a lot of those cars will have a gap between the edge of your seat and the center console. This comes in a set of two. It's designed to slide into that gap. So you can see it has a USB cord here. It also comes with a the lighter adapter. I know that's not lighters, but I'm old and that's what I think of. So you can plug it into a lighter adapter as well. And once you do, this whole thing lights up with this really cool kind of blue LED light deal here. And then it gives you two more USB chargers, a cup holder and slots like to put iPad, phone, et cetera in there, snacks, whatever you want. And there's two of them. So the driver can have one and the passenger can have one as well. I think this is absolutely brilliant, but I just think this is a great thing to have, not just for road trips, but if you happen to have a car that has a car seat gap, why not fill it with this thing? Nothing will fall in between. You won't lose your keys in there. And it makes things a little more useful and organized. One more absolutely random thing, this little clip on light. Now my friend Lisa, you know her as Lisa, Lisa D1, recommended this for creators who are trying to film themselves for reels and whatnot but I realized that this has so many purposes. So you charge it up just like an external battery and it has 
whoa, okay. So it has white light. You can change the light settings, make it more warm, more cool, dimmer, what have you. It can clip right onto the top of your phone. It has a little hole here, so it goes right over the lens. So if you're traveling and you wanna take family pictures and you're worried about the lighting, this will solve that problem. If you are in a bathroom and the lighting isn't great and you haven't brought my travel mirror that I'm about to recommend again, this can light that up. It has a lot of uses aside from the obvious selfie type situation. Maybe you're traveling, but also you need to take a Zoom call while you're on the road. This will light you up no matter where you are. Really inexpensive, really well made, and it holds a charge for a pretty long time. I've been pretty impressed with it. One more new find I want to recommend to you is this double-sided clear travel case. Now, like I mentioned, I road trip a lot, but I think this would work in a variety of situations. So sometimes I'm in a multi-step situation. For instance, bear with me making this personal. When we go to Oxford, Mississippi, which we will not be doing anymore since both of my sons have graduated from there now, it's like a 12 hour drive. It's a little farther than we like to do in a day. So what we like to do is go about nine hours from where I live, stay there for the night, and then finish the, the three hour trip the next day. So when we get to our first destination, I don't necessarily wanna unpack my entire suitcase to get through my toiletries. So I used this just to pack the toiletries I needed for that evening and real quick in the morning, maybe not my full huge toiletry case, and I could pack, stack it so I can have the morning on one side and the evening toiletries on the other. There's a lot of things you can do with this case. It doesn't have to be for just toiletries, but I love that it has two sides so you don't have to completely dismantle or go digging in here. You see what you want on this side, yeah, open it on this side and vice versa. And it, it's great for storing things at home as well, but obviously this is fantastic for travel. Now, those are all the new finds, but if you are new here and you haven't heard about all the things that I love, I did want to just briefly mention the classics that I never leave home without. The first being the full-size toiletry bag. This thing has been all over the world at this point and I have it open for you. I haven't fully unpacked it from my last trip. And to be honest, I usually don't fully unpack it. I usually leave most of the travel stuff in there. I have the large version, four pockets, quite large. You can hang it from a hook or you can decide to unpack it. You can use it for makeup and skincare and all the things. I just use it for skincare because I am extra and I have separate bags for bathing, hair, and makeup but I stand by that, I absolutely adore that. Another item that never leaves, that I never leave the house with when we travel is this some form. This is my most current favorite. It is a multi-USB port charging station with a very long extension cord. It is not a surge protector, so it's safe to use on cruise ships, by the way, and you can pick from different lengths of the cord. This one is 15 feet, but I think they have it going up to 20 or 25 feet as well. So I do use this pretty much every time we go anywhere because even the newer hotel rooms just don't have enough USB ports or plugs to charge things and they never have them in exactly the right places. So that's why the extension cord is super handy. I mentioned a travel mirror. This is the one I've been traveling with. I absolutely love it. It is the perfect size. I got the larger one and I just wanna share that I haven't charged it since I charged it before I left. I used it for a full week on the road and it is still going strong. Someone mentioned that she got it and it only lasted one use. I don't know if you charged it fully the first time you got it, but as you can see, we're going on to like 10 days since I used it and I used it every single day and it's still working just fine. And then I wanna close out with my current favorite set of suitcases. They do happen to be from Amazon. It's the Amazon brand, um, and I have the set of three. You can choose a set of two, or you can buy them individually. I have found them to be extremely lightweight, very durable, they roll very nicely, and they hold so much, even compared to suitcases of similar or the same size. So I absolutely love them, swear by them, and I like the color options as well. So lots of great new finds, a few classics for you to check out as well. I hope this was helpful. Please let me know down in the comments if you have anywhere fun planned to travel to this summer. I would love to hear about it. And I hope that you had some fun here today. Thanks for hanging out with me and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.